one cake day, which is the 10th of this month. The 14th is Valentine's Day. So this is an idea where you can make for Valentine morning some pancake for breakfast. Um, hopefully you like the recipe, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments. Thank you so much for watching my cooking show. Hopefully we have the best, better recipe if you come out. And visit the blog website, chefforcutter.co.uk. Get my book on Amazon. The price won't change. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye. Nice and lovely. So as I say, I'm going to make you some nice, lovely pancake. Which you can use that for Valentine morning breakfast. Basically what happened is like, you know what I mean? I was in the shop and I saw this um, red favorite cake mix and it was there was like I having a sale so I brought it but when I brought it I, I didn't use it I have it probably about a month now in my cupboard sit down decide to do something with it and I decide today see it's a red favorite cake mix buttercream um basically this is the pack I never used nothing like this in my own entire it's the first time I'm gonna do something like this before um, I say I need to do something with it and I said to myself one thing I could do with it is this make some pancake from it because I'm not gonna make a cake from this because I can make cake already alright I don't know how to make pancake cake already so you guys see the mixture where I know I'm gonna make up all the time but I need to do something with it so I have a pot right here which is um let's see I don't even we'll see how much pot how much gram this inside of it I need to know how much. Um, it's a cook for 10 minutes. Uh, 28 minutes. Anyway, first of all, what I'm gonna do, we're gonna make some pancake from this red velvet cake. Red velvet cake makes pancake. That's the name of our Valentine breakfast morning. I got three egg right here. That's three egg guys. I want you guys to see exactly what's going on right here. That's three egg, alright? Um simple. We're gonna whisk it. Lovely and nice. That's the tree egg. Alright? Let's check that right there. Um already done tree egg. I got some olive oil which I'm um, some vegetable oil which I'm gonna put in it. Roughly Two tablespoon of vegetable oil. Look at this mixture. Two tablespoon of vegetable oil. Um, next thing, milk. Quarter cups of milk, all the milk. Blend. Tablespoon of vanilla. Um, we're gonna get the mixture now. And I know you guys will love this recipe because it's a recipe which can do a lot at home. The only reason why, I, as I said, I brought it and I decided to do something with it. But now I'm gonna do something to show you. That's one cup of the red velvet mix. I'm gonna put a little bit more just to make it up to a cup. R roughly a cup and quarter of the red velvet mix. Straight inside of it. We're gonna put some grounded nut the egg, just a little pinch. Um, oh, that, that's some mixed spice, pinch of mixed spice. And also a pinch of cinnamon. Oh, that's all right. 
right? It's a little pinch, come on, that's fine. Um, basically, we're gonna give it a next whisk like this. Nice and lovely, look at that. Beautiful. That's the mixture we're talking about. Perfect. All right? Remember, this is a new recipe for you guys. So if you've never tried this one before, you can give it a go. So that's the mixture right there, and that's oil, it's red, looking lovely and nice. So this is like morning time, morning breakfast. Red, velvet, velvet, red. So, as you can see, it's just really something totally different. And I need to do something with the cake mixture. I did just really make some pancake, alright? Enjoy the recipe. Nice, and lovely. So, as you can see, that's a front pan I have right here. And a stove, a flat front pan, medium size eat. Lovely and nice. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna pop some vegetable oil inside of the front pan like this. Use a brush. And simply just brush it around like this with the inside of the frying pan. A little bit too much, but that's fine. Roughly about two to three seconds now since I have it out. So it's probably a little bit warm and hot. So basically, we're gonna pour in some of the pancake mixture inside of it like this. Looking really nice and lovely guys as you can see that is fantastic so let's see what's going on right here let's give it another two seconds and it will be ready all right just spin it over and that's the result we get nice lovely color as you can see looking fantastic So what we're gonna do is gonna simply use my brush and just brush the grease around inside of it. And then simple pouring tea like this. Nice size one. Lovely and nice guys.
nice and lovely so this is the last one that she's gonna make guys as you can see how we make our pancake at home in this kind of way sometimes well but this kind is a American style and to be honest really nice lovely and nice just look at that that is just fantastic guys beautiful so enjoy the recipe you can make this for body time morning red velvet pancake as you can see really lovely and nice enjoy the recipe and I'm gonna show you what they look over here nice and lovely so this is the way the pancake and look in lovely and nice so you can have this for your breakfast Valentine morning but this is a secret behind the scene look at this get the big one just like this Next thing, get a little bit of. You can use um. As I can see, a little bit of chocolate powder and sprinkle on top of it, just like that. Really nice, and it come out really well, really good, lovely and nice. Um, and second thing we can also do. Is I'll show you the next thing. Uh, so what you can do? Is put a piece of a drum right on top of it like that. So guys, this is just an idea and a tips or things which you can do also for for the time. As you can see, that looking lovely, fantastic really nice and hopefully you guys will love that so as you can see ideas and tips what you can do uh, so far valentine enjoy the recipe subscribe to the channel and see you next time and thank you so much for watching chef for color cooking show we've got a lot more recipe by this see you next time bye bye